The Consecration to St. Joseph, Day 27, Patron of Social Justice. Open your mouth in behalf of the mute and for the rights of the destitute. Open your mouth, judge justly, defend the needy and the poor. Proverbs chapter 31, verses 8 and 9. St. Joseph is called the patron of social justice because of his righteousness. He followed all laws that came from God. He made justice a practical way of living out love for others. He fulfilled his divine assignments because he was a man of justice. St. Joseph was fair to his companions, to his family members, and to society. God guided him in judging what was right and what was wrong, and he stood for right. As disciples of Christ, we are called to imitate St. Joseph and work for social justice. Our families are the starting point and the center of a vocation for justice. How we treat our parents, spouses, and children is a reflection of our commitment to Christ's love and justice. We demonstrate our commitment to the gospel by how we spend our time and money, and whether our family life includes an ethic of charity, service, and action for justice. In the world of business, business owners, managers, and investors face important opportunities to seek justice and pursue peace. Ethical responsibility is not just avoiding evil, but doing right, especially for the weak and vulnerable. Decisions about the use of capital have moral implications. Are they creating and preserving quality jobs at living wages? Are they building up community through the goods and services they provide? Do policies and decisions reflect respect for human life and dignity, promote peace, and preserve God's creation? As citizens in the world's leading democracy, Catholics in the United States have special responsibilities to protect human life and dignity and to stand with those who are poor and vulnerable. We are also called to welcome the stranger, to combat discrimination, to pursue peace, and to promote the common good. Working for justice in everyday life is not easy, but we can call on the intercession of our spiritual father, St. Joseph, to help us live our faith in the world in a way that is pleasing to God. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, patron of social justice, pray that we may have a vision of the world as God would have it a world where the weak are protected and none go hungry or poor, a world where peace is built with justice and justice is guided by love. Give us the inspiration and courage to build it through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Litany of St. Joseph Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. Noble offspring of David, pray for us. Light of Patriarchs, pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God, pray for us. Chaste Guardian of the Virgin, pray for us. Foster Father of the Son of God, pray for us. Zealous Defender of Christ, pray for us. Head of the Holy Family, pray for us. Joseph Most Just, pray for us. Joseph Most Chaste, pray for us. Joseph, most prudent, pray for us. Joseph, most courageous, pray for us. Joseph, most obedient, pray for us. Joseph, most faithful, pray for us. Mirror of patience, pray for us. Lover of poverty, pray for us. Model of workmen, pray for us. 
glory of domestic life, pray for us. Guardian of virgins, pray for us. Pillar of families, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Hope of the sick, pray for us. Patron of the dying, pray for us. Terror of demons, pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household and Prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our daily challenge. Who do I see as the poor and vulnerable in my life? How do I talk about them and respond to their needs? Examine whether you are living your life conveying a consistent life ethic that aligns with God's plan of justice, with a willingness to make amends.